Hello, LifeWave family. I am honored to be here with you today on this special Alavita Eye Cream launch webinar. And I am particularly excited because today is the official launch day in many of our countries. Now, this isn't just a product, it's a revolution in skincare. It's funding nature and science in an innovative new way. It's our commitment to excellence and dedication to your health and wellness, including the health of your skin. That brings us all here together today on this webinar. Now, today I'm going to be joined by founder, CEO, and inventor of LifeWave Technology, David Schmidt. He's going to help guide us through a discussion on how this groundbreaking eye cream isn't just about hydrating and reducing the appearance of wrinkles, but also the confidence that comes with feeling comfortable and confident in your skin. So here's to brighter eyes and even brighter smiles. Uh, as you've seen, our Alavita Revive eye cream isn't just a step forward in skincare. It's a leap into a huge opportunity that's expanding as we speak. I talked about this a little bit at Vision if you joined us, but in 2024, the global skincare market is valued at an incredible estimation of $166 billion. So now imagine the horizons of this market in just six short years. By 2030, there's going to be over 1 billion individuals celebrating their 60th birthday and beyond. So this market is expected to more than double. So the opportunity is huge. The need is huge. Um, it's an incredible way, uh, addition to our, our current uh, product offering and product line. Now, the eye cream is a symphony of high-quality ingredients, each selected for its proven benefits, and Dave is going to walk through some of those. Now, leading the ensemble is the GHK CU copper peptide. It's a cornerstone that resonates with extraordinary qualities of our hero product, X39, of course. It's a testament to our legacy of blending cutting edge science with the healing wonders of nature. So I'm excited for you to try the eye cream and experience the benefits for yourself. Now, as a reminder to help support you, we've created materials that you can leverage in our product education toolkits found in the back office. And the Alavita Revive cream is no exception. We're going to offer a tremendous number of resources, including education toolkits, brand partner FAQs, product videos, product presentations, social media assets, instructions for use, patch placement guides, Alavita brochure, um, and a whole bunch of other resources, including ones that you can customize. So each of these has been crafted not only to educate, but to empower you. It's to prepare you not just for sales, but for stories of success. So together, they all form a tapestry of knowledge that you'll weave into your conversations, your presentations, and your growth with LifeWave. So now to help us walk through the science, and without any further delay, I am pleased to welcome founder, CEO, and inventor of LifeWave Technology, David Schmidt. David, thank you for joining us. Well, Jeff, thank you very much. And as you know, we've had uh, the Alavita product line for many years now, and uh, the overall concept was uh, that we wanted to improve the health of the skin, not just have a simple cosmetic product. And uh, over time, our leaders and our brand partners have asked us to expand the Alavita line. And of course, when this opportunity came up um, to offer an eye cream, this just everything just came together and fit together. Uh, I'd lo love to say that it was an easy product to develop. But it actually took a few years, surprisingly. We had a number of challenges to overcome, but I'm delighted that we're able to uh, offer it now. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it then. So um, we're going to be talking uh, about the concept behind Alavita. And of course, we are going to be focusing in on the eye cream and, uh, and uh, what it contains and some of the properties and of course, some of the benefits that you can expect from this. And this is very consistent with the overall identity of LifeWave because we're not just interested in cosmetic appearance. Of course, we want everything foundationally to be about health and for that to start, of course, from the inside of the body. So uh, in looking at this and even looking at a product like an eye cream, we do want to ask the basic premise of why are people aging? And if we can understand why the skin ages, we can approach it from the perspective of let's provide the skin with nutrition and let's protect the skin so uh, we can have a more youthful appearance. So we're going to approach it from 
that perspective. So we're getting in now since 2015 uh, is when we first introduced Alavita, and it was based on this uh, basic concept that what did we what we wanted to do was use a patch to reduce the oxidative and inflammatory stress on the skin, and then use sorry use the uh, topicals to provide nutrition for the skin and uh, improve hydration and reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles, uh, stimulate production of hyaluronic acid, stimulate production of collagen, and do it this way. So that is our uh, fundamental approach. Now with the eye cream, since X39 is our flagship product, it only made sense since there's so much information in our community about copper peptide that we include copper peptide in this formula. And um, not surprisingly, uh, copper peptide has been around for uh, a few decades now in skincare. Uh, so since its discovery by Dr. Lauren Picard, um, it has been principally used as a cosmetic material. But of course, we're gonna do something different with our eye cream as compared to other products that have been on the market. So this is our uh, beautiful Olivita eye cream packaging, which of course is consistent with our branding. And uh, the first thing that you're gonna notice about the product when you use it is that it's blue, and then that is in keeping with the color of copper peptide. So copper peptide, um, its key benefit in the human body, which is why X39 has been so popular, is that we know it is going to reset thousands of genes to a more youthful state. So this is not simply about just improving hydration, improving collagen. This is about creating uh, more youthful skin. So that, to me, that would be the key benefit as to why we want to include GHKCU, this particular form of copper peptide. But in skincare studies, one of the key benefits is that copper peptide is indeed shown to support uh, production of collagen. Now, there are many uh, third-party studies that you can go to uh, to look at some of the benefits of copper peptide as it relates to the skin. So uh, this particular study uh, that we see here um, on copper peptide, this was performed by Dr. Lauren Picard. If you click on that link below, you can pull up the study. And uh, one of the things that you'll see is that there are references to uh, copper peptide improving the overall appearance of the skin, improving firmness, elasticity, clarity, and of course, reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and actually also improving the very structure of the skin. So this is really every type of benefit that you might want to have in a skincare product you can get from copper peptide. So that's a key reason to include it. So we hired a uh, very well-known laboratory as a third party to conduct a uh, clinical study on the Olivita eye cream. And uh, we performed this study with over 50 people and uh, they were between the ages of 49 and 70. Uh, it was also a six week study where we looked at taking a baseline reading and then looking at results after three weeks and six weeks of use. And these were the results that we saw both immediately and then after a six week period of time. Consistent with the benefits of copper peptide, we saw an improvement in skin elasticity. This is important. Um, Let's actually talk about this because it's often overlooked. As we age and as we see aging in the skin, there is a phenomena called 
cross-linking. And you can do a very simple test. What you do is you take your hand, uh, you put it down on a flat surface like a uh, kitchen table or a desk, and then you grab some skin and then you pinch up. And then what you want to do is see how much time does it take for the skin to relax. So this is going to be a measure of the elasticity of the skin. So if you do that skin pinch test on someone that's young, you're going to see that the, that the skin bounces back very, very quickly. Uh, if you take someone that hasn't taken care of themselves, they're 70 or 80 years old, and you do that same test, you're going to see the skin, after you pull it up, it goes back very, very slowly. Well, this is a measure of the elasticity of the skin. And needless to say, um, what we're looking at here is a uh, very simplistic measure of the collagen and elastin content in the skin, which is very going to be very closely associated with the age of the skin. So when we're improving skin elasticity, this is not just a good thing from a cosmetic perspective, but it's also a great thing because it's a measure of revitalizing the skin, getting the skin to be more useful. Of course, uh, also associated with that is the firmness. So as we're increasing the um, structural proteins in the skin, there should be an improvement in firmness. And here we see that over a six-week period of time, uh, over 84% of the people had an improvement in their skin firmness. Um, as you might expect, hydration improved immediately, over 20%, or about 20%, I should say. And uh, one of the reasons that we were able to achieve this is that we used oils in the product that uh, collectively mimic the oils in the skin. So this means that the uh, Olivita products can penetrate the skin and hydrate without leaving the skin feeling greasy. So that's a really key uh, factor in our products. And you also uh, look at other measures in skincare, uh, someone's radiance, which is really a measure of their health, and of course, reduction in under eye puffiness. So this was a uh, fantastic result for this clinical study. And now here's a look, of course, at the complete Olivita system um, where we would have the patch that's intended to be used in the evening, the daytime formula, the evening formula, and then uh, the uh, now the new eye cream, which can be used once or twice per day. So these products, they do work independently. Um, I enjoy using the night cream after sun. So we have, of course, many incentive trips. And uh, we were in Sardinia this past summer with uh, our elite level senior presidential directors. You're out getting a lot of sun. I love using the night cream because of the vitamin C content. It's a little bit thicker and uh, it's very, very soothing after sun. So uh, in any case, they're designed to be used either independently or, of course, collectively as a system. Now, when we were first developing this product years ago, we worked with a very well-known cosmetic scientist, multiple uh, patent holder, uh, independent consultant who had worked in the skincare industry for over 30 years. And the first thing about the product was that it needed to be natural. And uh, we came very close to 100%, 98.6%. So you might say, well, David, why isn't it 100%? Well, as an example, we've got vitamin C in the formula. Vitamin C is natural. We also have oils in the formula. Oils are natural. But if you blend the vitamin C, and you make it a fat-soluble form, that's something that doesn't occur in nature. It is made from natural products, but it doesn't occur in nature, so you cannot count that as a 
natural product. So that's one of the reasons why you get to 98.6% and not 100%. Um, and of course, to be competitive, uh, the product would have to produce very, very quick results and uh, reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles. So we were able, able to achieve those goals um, in addition to more. So during the formulation process, in addition to copper peptide, there were a number of very key decisions that were made. One of the active ingredients uh, that's included in the eye cream are milk peptides. Now, I want to take a minute to explain this uh, because one ingredient you might expect to see that's not here is hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid is a very common material that is used in skincare, and it is associated with the hydration of the skin. And not surprisingly, as uh, time goes on and uh, the skin suffers cross-linking, uh, the levels of hyaluronic acid in the skin will decline. Well, our philosophy here was that instead of uh, putting hyaluronic acid into the body, let's have the body naturally increase its hyaluronic acid levels by stimulating it with an ingredient. So in this case, milk peptides will stimulate the production of hyaluronic acid and stimulate the production of collagen. This is very similar philosophically to how our patches work. Instead of putting glutathione directly into the body, we are going to have a patch to signal the body to make its own glutathione. We believe this is a far better approach and it's more natural. It's keeping with the way the human body works. So that's the reason why we include milk peptides is to increase hyaluronic acid and increase collagen. Macadamia seed oil was utilized. Um, first, it's uh, macadamia oil like avocado oil avocado oil and like olive oil is uh, very rich in healthy fats, monounsaturated fats. And macadamia seed oil has the benefit um, that it's going to mimic the oils in skin. So you can apply it to the skin and it's not going to be greasy. So it's a very effective moisturizer for an oil. Uh, we also wanted to base this on uh, algae oil. And uh, the reason that algae oil is very rich in DHA. So if you um, were to take a omega-3 supplement, um, it would often be derived from fish. It could be derived from salmon or sardines, and those products are fine. Uh, and they're going to be a blend of omega-3s, of the EPA and DHA. Well, in this particular case... Um, it is of a great benefit to apply DHA to the skin, and DHA levels uh, decline after the age of 60. Um, so we included algae oil because uh, algae oil is predominantly the DHA form of omega-3, and it's a very effective moisturizer. Um, we also included evening primrose oil, uh, for a similar reason. Now, moringa butter um, is amazing when it comes to improving skin hydration, and it has a number of uh, very significant healing benefits that we won't get into because we may, can't make those claims. Uh, but we did include a small amount of moringa butter to balance out the formula for the purpose of improving hydration. We also included jojoba oil because when you add this into the blend, it's not greasy and uh, it will support a reduction in the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Uh, rice split grain oil was in, again included for a similar reason. It also uh, naturally contains antioxidants and um, 
it is going to uh, work with our formula at mimicking the uh, way the oils and the skin work. So again, we don't have a greasy product. Now, rosemary extract, um, which is uh, a natural antioxidant, uh, you'll see in some supplement products that it's used as a stabilizer to keep a supplement fresh. Um, so the reason why we're including it is that it can keep our formula stable. Um, so we're using it as an antioxidant that way. Um, of course, it will have some benefit as an antioxidant when applied to the skin, but we do principally use it as an antioxidant to protect the quality of the actives that are in the formula. Now, one thing that's really worth mentioning is we started this uh, presentation out by uh, talking about how important it is to have a natural product. We know that the skin is a barrier, and um, as a barrier, it's going to resist having things penetrate into our blood. We know that with things like transdermal patches, which our patch isn't, with transdermal patches, when you uh, wet the skin over a period of time, that things that are on the surface of the skin will make their way into the body. So with skincare products, uh, you want them to be clean because anything that is in the skincare formula potentially can make its way into the body. So when we started out uh, with formulating Olivita, it was extremely important that we leave out things that we know are harmful, like the parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. Uh, we also didn't want to have any type of artificial or synthetic fragrances. So um, this is a very another very, very important distinction between Olivita and uh, other products that are on the market. Okay. So Jeff, uh, I would say that our team uh, has really done a great job at coming out with um, the Olivita eye cream. This is an excellent addition to our Olivita line. And uh, of course, as you know, in October, we provided complimentary samples to our senior presidential directors and they raved about it and they loved it. So I'm glad this we're finally gonna be able to offer it. Yeah, you know, and, I, and the text messages haven't stopped. You know, Jeff, when is, it, when is this coming out? So we're here, this is the day um, we're so grateful for all that helpful information. Now, David, I'm impressed with the quality of the ingredients as you're going through and talking about each of them. And I know that one of your development philosophies is to include high quality ingredients at efficacious levels. We talk about this often. We don't want to put stuff in that doesn't matter, that doesn't work. Um, it's certainly no exception with the eye cream. So can you talk a little bit about that philosophy and 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 how you approach uh, formulation yeah, so first of all, I want to give credit where credit is due. We work with an amazing cosmetic scientist. His name is Peter Lentini. And uh, so Peter, uh, we were introduced to him through Dr. Glenn Ryan. Glenn Ryan is a very well-known scientist. Uh, one of his levels of expertise is in water, uh, which plays uh, you know a role in the thing type of things we do at the company. And um, Glenn uh, has been working with LifeWave for many years on different clinical studies. So uh, Dr. Ryan had come out of the cosmetic industry. And so I said, hey, we're looking for somebody to uh, help us develop this natural skincare product. And he said, oh, I have just the guy for you. So um, I reached out to Peter and... Uh, we discussed this principle and said, look, you know, what we want to do is something very different in skincare. And Peter had, you know, had been around over 35 years at that point and had seen it all, uh, but had not seen what we had in mind. It, and with this idea that we wanted to use light therapy using our technology to protect the skin from the inside out so that we could heal the skin with the topicals. So he really loved the concept. Uh, and I said, well, Peter, this has to be as natural as possible. We want 100% natural. I know that we're not going to be able to get there completely because of uh, stability issues, 
but it, it's got to be completely natural and uh, it's got to be effective. He said, okay, let me see what we can do. So we went back and forth uh, for six months on formulations and um, it, the, it would not have come together the way that it did uh, without his expertise. So uh, it was a really great project to work on from the very beginning, and I'm glad we were able to maintain the integrity of the product and, and keep it natural. Yeah, I, I agree. I also love, you mentioned in there something, a key point of, of Alveda, which is you know beauty and skincare from the inside out and the outside in. Can you talk just a little bit more about how Alavita does that and, and the philosophy behind the entire system of products? Yeah. So, of course, uh, Alavita is a light therapy product, and it stimulates the skin with light. Uh, it's in the category of general wellness. So, you know, the general claims we make about it are that it is going to um, improve the flow of energy in the body. Uh, when we did our original study, on Alavita, of course, I had a design idea in mind for what peptide this was going to elevate, and um, the the idea was to look at this from the perspective of longevity. So, if we take a look at species that don't age, uh, and we'll use uh, there's a specific type of mollusk that's been found to be over 500 years old. You open the mollusk, and it hasn't aged. And remarkably, it doesn't show any signs of oxidative stress. So the type of things that cause people to age, these different species like mollusks, lobsters, they have that under control. So this uh, fellow in Russia, Kvinsen, he had found that there were a few key peptides in the body. The, the key one was epitalon or epithalamine. And that what it could do is uh, restore some of the youth that was lost in the body. And we did some tests and what we found effectively what it was doing was reducing oxidative stress. It was doing other things, but that was one of the key things. So we applied that design philosophy to Alavita. And uh, when we did our studies, that's in fact exactly what we found was that it was able to reduce levels of oxidative stress in the body. And uh, therefore it's gonna help protect the skin and protect the collagen, which is you know the most abundant protein in the body. So that that's really really key about that product. You and I have had some conversations recently on kind of the evolution of LifeWave and the branding and some of the DNA of the company, and certainly anti aging and you know skincare and and health and wellness are all a part of that DNA. So do you see uh, any other Alavita products in the future for LifeWave? I know we're just launching the eye cream, but as you look down the road, is there more to come potentially? I think so. You know, that will be a decision. I think we'll uh, want to take some guidance from the leaders in the company, uh, the presidential directors, uh, leaders. They, they certainly have a voice. And uh, the Alavita products, the nutritional supplements are all being introduced because these were requests from our leadership. So I would say that if uh, our leaders uh, think it's a good business decision, if our uh, brand partners, if it's something that they want, then we'll go ahead and develop those things uh, for the future. Uh, there's certainly plenty of things that we could do. <laughs> yeah, that, some wide open space, space for sure. Well, it, kind of in conclusion here, David, uh, you know, what advice would you give to our brand partners uh, as they begin to introduce this new product to their potential customers and friends and family? Yeah, I would say, you know, in thinking about uh, skin care, we really should be thinking about the health of the skin. And that's going to start very foundationally with uh, someone's lifestyle. So, you know, is someone exercising regularly? Are they eating healthy, drinking enough water, staying away from the things that we know are bad, getting enough sleep? Then when you have that foundation, using our patches is going to help indirectly help improve the quality of the skin. So if we're using X39, if we're using glutathione, if we're using carnosine, these products are going to, they're going to repair and improve the health of the skin from the inside out. So that when you go to use a system like Alavita, the results are only going to do better. So I would say like with anything, think about foundationally 
uh, what type of environment are you creating for your health and your skin? And then uh, using Olivita will will definitely get better results after that. I think you brought up such an important point, and we've also talked about this quite a bit as well, which is, you know, this really is a supporting product to X39. I know it really is the star, and it's the one that everyone should be using and using consistently. But you know, in addition to that, to adding something like the Alavita uh, line of skincare products or the, you know, the Alavita eye cream, you know, certainly can enhance their overall experience. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's the, because this is a cosmetic product, there's some claims uh, that we can't make. Uh, but I think what I would uh, advise people to do is like everything, look at the benefits of copper peptide, some of the work that's been done, and then it will become obvious why you would want to have that in a skincare product. Very good. Well, David, as we, uh, as we close out our time here today on the, the eye cream webinar, uh, is there anything else you'd like to share with our community in closing? Yeah, I think, um, I think what I would say is, um, science is always changing. Uh, we're, we're continuing to learn new things. Uh, recently it was discovered that there was another state of water. And, uh, you know, something as basic as water, you would say, well, the textbooks have been written. Uh, but as it turns out now, we got to rewrite the textbooks uh, because there's things being found today about water that weren't previously known. So it's always good, um, you know, to keep an open mind. Um, the, the way that uh, this world was created is uh, true, truly marvelous. And um, there's always going to be natural solutions for people. That, that's the magnificence of God's creation is there's always solutions. So no matter what type of problems people are facing, uh, there are natural health solutions out there. And I would certainly encourage people to, uh, to look for them, to pray for guidance and look for those things that, that's going to help them and uh, be more whole and, and be better. Well, as always, David, thank you so much for your wisdom, for your time, uh, for the dedication you put into to health and wellness and to improving people's lives. So grateful for your time today. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, that'll do it for us today, and we will see you next time. Have a great one.